Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ahabatifillah, a question was asked, how do we know that a scholar is following desires? Is desires or aren't desires uh, something that has to do with the heart, something hidden? How do we judge that? So it's actually a, a very good question. And when we say someone is from Ahla Bida or and Ahla Ahwa, the people of desires, for example, the scholars, when they make those ahkam, they make those rulings and those judgments, they're basing it on that uh, in the, an individual or a group is following blindly a particular ideology or creed or sect, that they are a person of desires from what is apparent from their known unwillingness to accept evidence when it's brought uh, to them. So they're known to either innovate in the religion with a new creed or a new way or methodology, menhaj if you will, for trying to understand the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when evidence is brought to them uh, they are known either for refusing that evidence or that they spent a lifetime fighting the evidences Ahl Sunnati Wal Jama'ah have established based on the book and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the understanding of the Salaf Asari. So when we talk about, uh, as this was a comment in a video I did about Imam uh, Anawawi and Imam Ibn Hajr, Rahmatullah Rahimahumullah Jami'an, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have mercy upon them both and bless them immensely for their service to the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And, re and establishing the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Madhab of Ahl Sunnati with Jama'ah. However, that does not mean that they didn't make mistakes. As the Prophet Sallallahu said, Kulu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khattain atawabun. That does not mean that they were, they were completely free of some Aqidah issues where they had some muwafiqa with the uh, Ashiris, Ashairah. And so, with regards to the Sifat and probably other things as well, as is known. And with that being the case, the reason the scholars, the scholars of Ahl Sunnah, do not make tabdi' of those great Imams is for one, their service to the Sunnah of the Prophet. ﷺ. They were preservers of the religion. Hey, the most important explanation of Sahih Muslim, the most important explanation of Sahih al Bukhari, Ibn Hajr. Imam Anawawi, Shar Sahih Muslim. Uh, these, they did a service to Islam in all of the books. Arba'in Anawawi, um, Riyal the Salihin, and the, the immense uh, uh, works in, in fiqh, in fatawa, from Imam Anawawi, as well as uh, Imam uh, Ibn Hajr. And so with that being the case, their contribution to the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ was immense. And they were not known for being people of blind following. They were scholars that grew up in their, you know, studied in their locality where it was at that time prevalent. The Aqidah of the Asha'ira had become widespread in the Muslim Ummah. And so with that being the case, they were affected by that, those, those aspects of uh, regarding ta'wil, uh, a sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or some of the sifat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in explaining them away, <coughs> away from their intended uh, meaning, which is in accordance with, the, with Ahl Sunnati wa Jama'ah, accordance to how the Sahaba radiallahu ta'anu majma'een approached those sifat, and the tabi'in with ba'i tabi'in. So with that being the case, they were known uh, flag bearers of the sunnah, but, uh, and the, their mistakes, bi'idhni Allah ta'ala, are forgiven, 
bi'idnillah and their service to Islam and they were not known for being people who fought the sunnah and who fought instead of they exalted the sunnah but yukhti made mistakes in some of the abwaba aqida so this is the difference between ahl bid'ah wal ahwa those people who the scholars Yahkam bi dalalihim that they make a ruling based on their misguidance because they were known people who followed these, uh, you know, who are either outright rejecting the truth, not open to the truth, blindly following based on partisanship or hisbia a particular creed or ideology. So there's a difference there. And that is known through through the writings and, and, and the people who are around the imams or the, the individuals, uh, even the people of desires or knowing about them, what the people narrated about them. Were they a person who was known for desires <coughs> in, in, innovating in the religion of, uh, of Islam and departing from the imams of the sunnah in their time, leaving their study circles? How did the Ahmed to Deen deal with them? So those kind of judgments uh, are based on those factors. And I hope that that's a bit more clear. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.